diolch yn fawr iawn i ddechrau mae croeso yma, bore yma. Um, fel mae'n digwydd, mi'n aethon ni fel teulu gymryd yn gwyliau diwetha ni yma yn y rhan hon o'r byd, sy'n mewn ffordd yn cynrychioli y gore o beth i gan Gymru uh, i'w gynnig un marchnadau targed ni, bydd rhywun i amser yn mwynhau yr er, uh, lleti o safon sydd yn yr ardal yma, yn bwyta ac yn siopa, falle yn siopa braidd gormod yn, yn arfer, uh, yn ymweld â chastell hentlyth, um, a uh, hefyd yn ymweld â rhai o'r ateniadau teuluol ffantastig um, sydd yma uh, yn sirbenfro. Um, a i fi, mae'r ardal hon fel o'n un sôn yn cynrychioli mewn ffordd y gorau sydd gan Gymru i'w gynnig y cyfuniad unigryw yma o etifeddiaeth a diwylliant uh, gyfoethog sydd yn fyw heddiw uh, gyda phob math o weithgareddau ac antur i gynnig fawd newydd um, ynghyd â golygfeydd a amgylchedd uh, hynod o drawiadol wrth gwrs. Um, fel oedd manon yn sôn, dwi i'n gymharol newydd i'r swydd hon er, mae'n dechrau teimlo bod wedi bod, bod mae'n amser hir iawn. Um, a felly o'n i'n bwriadu dechrau yng nghyflwyniad ei heddi, um, trwy roi rhywfaint o gydestyn i chi, uh, o safbwynt yr hyn, dwi i'n ei deimlo i'r blaen o'r ieithau i nifel uh, fel tîm marchnata canolog ac i nifel diwydiant uh, dros y, y, y flwyddyn a mwy i ddod. Um, ond o'n i hefyd yn meddwl y byddai ni'n cymryd y cyfle i sôn yn fras am rai cyfleoedd sydd yna i gydweithio gyda chi fel diwydiant yn y dyfodol um, a rhai o'r ardaloedd dwi'n credu sydd yn ffocws i ni gyd uh, wrth i ni edrych yn hyderus tuag at y dyfodol. Um, mi ddechreuais i yn y swydd hon bryn fis yn ôl a mewn ffordd oedd i yn amser arbennig o bositif i ddechrau mae'r ystadegau twristiaeth o'r o'r tymor a fi llynedd yn, yn edrych yn, yn bositif, e, tywydd mae'n siŵr oedd un o'r prif ffactorau tu ôl i hynny, ond yn sicr mi fi yna dwf e, o safbwynt ymwelwyr a gwariant yng Nghymru e, y llynedd. E, Rwy'n ni hefyd yn lwcus iawn, oherwydd wythnos cyn i fi ddechrau, e, mi ddewisod darllenwyr yr ysgaid Cymru fel un o'r pump lle yw i ymweld â nhw yn y byd e, eleni, sydd yn amlwg yn, yn bositif iawn ac yn rhywbeth e, y dylunni ddathlu fel diwydiant, um, a uh, hefyd um, rhyw ychydig yn i fi ddechrau gafydd y cyhoeddiad i wneud bod uh, cynhadledd NATO mynd i fod yn cael ei gynnal uh, yng yn Nghymru ym mis Medi, sydd yn amlwg yn gyfle um, er bod yna sawl um, mater dwys a, a bod, bod uh, y math yna o ddigwyddiad yn mynd i ddyn i bob math o sylw wrth gwrs, nid bob peth yn bositif, mae e yn y bôn yn gyfle gweithio roi Cymru ar y map rhyngwladol. Ond roedd i hefyd yn gyfnod anodd, achos um, roedd y stormydd newydd um, ddigwydd a arfordir Cymru yn arbennig yn dioddef uh, sgil effeithiau hynny. A oedd hynna'n yn asgoffa ni fi'n credu bod yn bwysig i ni uh, fel diwydiant a fel sefydliad i fod yn gallu ymateb i'r math yna o beth yn fwy cyflym, yn y dyfodol, yn o gystal a ffocysu ar y pethau strategol bwysig i ni um, a, a, a chad o'n ffocws ar y pethau mwyaf. Um, mwy am flaen o'r eithau mawr ni wrth symud ymlaen. Um, felly o safbwynt uh, croeso Cymru, I'll switch to the English now. In terms of our priorities, um, in my view, uh, moving forward, um, as I said just now in Welsh, I started in what was both a really positive time in terms of what was coming through as the, the key tourism statistics for last year, the rough guide just selecting Wales as one of the key places to visit this year, etc., but also Wales, you know, coming out of a very difficult winter period. Um, I, I think it, it meant that, um, you know, it was a really timely reminder to me that we as a team need to both be reactive, but also very strategic moving forward. And um, I suppose in this presentation, what I'm trying to do is highlight some of the, my initial observations, really, in terms of our strategic focus for the future as well as some key opportunities to work together with the industry to strengthen Wales's brand offering to the world. Um, the key aspect, I think, that we need to increasingly focus on over the next 12 to 18 months is a very clear understanding of what our key markets are, who the key high-yield markets for Wales will be in the future, and how we can work together to target those markets more effectively, but also to develop really strong product offerings that um, speak to those markets and that are iconic and attract attention in those markets across the world. Our strategy sets out the need for us to be increasingly focused here in the UK and on the southeast 
uh, of England in particular in the future to also look increasingly within Wales and towards Ireland and to begin working more proactively in markets such as Germany and the USA, but without lo losing also out on markets in our traditional and um, strong uh, market destinations of France and places like the Netherlands. It's quite a tall order with limited resources. And as I said, I think increasingly we're going to have to pick our battles and decide where we can have um, the best wins possible for Wales as a brand and for the individual destinations and products that we have to offer within Wales. Um, developing a strong and confident narrative for Wales as a destination in itself, but also as a destination that's rich in other destinations, as uh, smaller, more localised destinations and products, is going to be the big challenge, I think, for me moving forward. My role doesn't just focus on tourism, it also spans the other sectors. And, for example, in the context of NATO, I think there will be a requirement for us to position Wales as an entity in the eyes of the world, in a way maybe that we haven't done before, in a way that, that's pretty ambitious and confident, but that also recognises what our key strengths are, in a way that's honest and, and delivers a, quite a credible proposition for us. Part of all of this is looking towards the future and working with you to develop really strong product stories based on the existing um, products that we've got. You know, where are we missing opportunities to celebrate some of the best aspects of what we have to offer today? But it's also about working together to develop new iconic products um, that have you know, resonance on a global stage and within those markets that I've just mentioned. It's becoming an increasingly com uh, competitive marketplace and we need to have um, products that can really cut through if we're going to attract new visitors to Wales. But that doesn't necessarily, I, you know, in saying that, it sounds as if I'm talking all the time about investing a high amount of, you know, a, a big amount of money in big investment opportunities, but it ha doesn't have to be that. Some of the most exciting destinations in the world are looking differently at what they already have to offer and are talking about what they have um, in a different way, in a way that's more relevant to markets of the future. There's a destination in Austria, for example, um, that have just been working hard to unlock some of the, the musical and cultural offering that's on their doorstep in a way that makes that feel accessible and relevant to a modern world. And we've got a lot of product in Wales already that maybe we could do more with and speak about, talk about in a different way to make it appeal to the markets. And that's where working together to unlock some of those stories is a really big opportunity for us. Our role, I think, is to support all of the work that goes on on a local, regional level with very strong national campaigns and increasingly with more, in, more innovative content on social media platforms and digital platforms that talk about Wales in a way that raises eyebrows uh, within our target market. And the fundamental bit of all of this that underpins all our activity is the need to collaborate really closely with individual businesses, with um, DMOs, with regional uh, partners and on a national level and also increasingly on a UK level with Visit Britain to put Wales on the map. Um, in terms of the brand story, as I said, I think um, there's a lot, a lot of work has happened to develop the Wales brand over the last few years and I think we're in a position now to take that forward, to really think about what Wales has to offer and to be very clear about what our proposition is in these different markets. Um, to be more confident maybe than ever before in the way we talk about Wales, speak about Wales um, across all of the sectors and especially when it comes to tourism, we really do have a, a rich and distinctive offering here in Wales that needs to be celebrated. I think um, in the past, um, or I think certain um, tourism destinations, you know, think about themselves on a quite a rational basis. There are loads of reasons to visit Wales and, you know, they're important to celebrate. But I think the strength of our current campaign, for example, is that it positions those in the context of an emotional connection to Wales. It sells with Wales both on a rational level, but also on quite an emotional one. And we are seeing in the Twitter comments that are coming back this sense, especially within Wales, of pride in that story and that sense of engagement with it, you know, in terms of the heart as well as on a, in the head. Um, my... Um, interest in all of this is to be increasingly creative in presenting Wales to the world. If we have one strength in Wales, it's the fact that we're creatively really strong. Some of the best creative brands in the world are made here in Wales, in Cardiff, Doctor Who, Sherlock, you know, let alone all the richness of our traditional heritage, our Welsh language heritage, programmes like Hinterland on S4C. 
and somehow I think we've got to untap all of that creativity and take it to the world uh, in a way that is our own. And as I, get, as I said earlier, again, key to all of this is understanding what's going on on the ground in order to tell a story that is true and authentic and reflects what you are doing um, here on a destination level. Um, so I've just thought I'd end by sort of summarising some ways um, I think that industry and Visit Wales can increasingly work together moving forward. There are three themes, I suppose, to this. They are innovate, collaborate and participate. Um, our, unfortunately, I had three videos, but because uh, we're down here in the valley, they're not, they're fed from YouTube and they're not quite working. Um, so I, I'll tell you about them. I'm, I'm not quite capable of bringing them to life in the right way, but anyway, you'll have to bear with me on that. Um, but in terms of innovation, for me, the key to this is actually product innovation. If we're going to have a really strong brand in the marketplace, the only thing that will drive that brand forward is exciting products and authentic experiences that we can sell to the market. But we can also become a little bit more creative in selling those products through social media platforms, etc. Now more than ever before, although uh, an organisation like our own can own a Wales brand, because of the long tail, individual businesses like yourselves also have the opportunity to direct and speak to your markets directly. And working together to make sure that narrative is consistent across every touch point is going to be a really exciting opportunity, I think, for the Wales brand. And there's some really clever stuff we can all do to tap into that um, huge opportunity that's out there in terms of you know, content sharing and content production at the moment. And to give you a really simple example, there's a hotel in Sydney that allows anybody with over 10,000 followers on Instagram to stay there for free. And they have a selfies corner in the hotel where you know, visitors can go and take a selfie. And that just generates a really you know, groundswell of publicity for, for the hotel. And there's some great examples of product and, and marketing innovation happening here on the ground too. Some great collaborations happening here in Pembrokeshire. Um, at the Dylan Thomas um, Festival and the website you know, is a fantastic example of what can be achieved if a lot of people work together creatively to create something that's greater than the sum of the parts. Um, so feeding us with content and stories, things that might on the surface not appear, may be that interesting to you, something that maybe you've always done. You know, there's potentially an angle in there that we can exploit through PR marketing and just by thinking differently about what we have to offer. And I'd also encourage you to look at what others are doing uh, in the marketplace in terms of content and stories. Um, I have got examples, but obviously I haven't got them here. What the, the Vine films um, that the Dylan Thomas project has produced um, there's a fantastic film that STA Travel have produced called Move that has had millions and millions of followers online. You know, that's a, quite an expensive example, but it's really based on quite a simple idea. And, you know, can we generate that con kind of content? I don't think it's ever been broadcast. It's just had the traction it's had because it's been brave in social media context. Um, and, um, you know, think about how you tell a story um, the Cognition Project in South Wales developed a series of little films about their product offer in the, in the lead up to their opening. And over 40,000 people watched episode three of their film. You know, that's 40,000 people with an interest and probably, you know, very interested in actually attending the launch or at least going um, to that project within a few weeks of it opening. So there are ways now of being creative in order to develop a really strong narrative and getting real a customer engagement in what you have to offer. Excuse this, this is the... Uh... In terms of collaboration, again, I think it's about thinking about how your products join up to create an even bigger story. I've mentioned the Dylan Thomas Festival several times, but it's a great example of where you know, events across Wales are now being talked about in the USA, in German markets and across the world, because collectively they've, they, they've created a really strong product. Um, and there are great examples of that on a smaller scale, smaller scale in Ceredigion. There's a project called September, which is about a walking event happening every day in September. So all of a sudden, something that was happening anyway is turning into a really interesting story that we can pick up and run with uh, in, in the press. And, you know, we've always talked in the industry about packaging things effectively because collectively in markets like Ireland, Southwest England, you know, People may not come to your individual business, but if you start thinking about the broader product offer, then we do really have a strong 
a product it takes to market play, to the market. And the other thing that's increasingly happening in the world on, on a general scale is creative allegiances. People thinking outside their own sectors to form partnerships. You know, we've traditionally worked within the tourism sector, but where are the opportunities to think differently about, for example, you know, musicians, artists, um, collaborators that are, you know, bring a very different edge to your business. Um, there's a, a small spa in the Cotswolds that have just invited one of the best hat designers in um, Britain to run workshops in the hotel in the lead up to the, the races. That's a really small idea, a uh, small example of thinking differently about creating a product offer that will be talked about in the press and media across the world. Um, and participate. As an organisation, we clearly have offer opportunities for the industry to engage with us directly. And um, plus there will be all sorts, obviously, and most of you will be aware of this, I'm sure, all sorts of opportunities to plug in on a more regional and local level too. Uh, on a national level, we can support you with travel trade activities. We've just been at the Best of Britain and Ireland, and we had a really strong presence there, which le led to some fantastic new leads for Wales-related Wales products. Um, online and in social media terms, there are increasing opportunities um, to promote uh, Wales and individual destinations. Our Facebook um, page has over 400,000 um, likes, which is a significant number. A St. Patrick's Day um, linked promotion that went up earlier this week had over 1,000 likes, and that was just a really small bit of activity. So it is being talked about, it does have an impact, and all of this collectively we can grow together. Um, campaigns, we'll talk a little bit about how you can take advantage of our campaigns, but also how you might be able to support us with campaign activity in the future. Stories, we've got PI agencies in countries around the world. We're always looking for great stories about Wales. Feed them into us so we can amplify your messages in the right market. And also because we're part of the Welsh Government, of course, there are other ways that Welsh Government can support the growth of individual businesses um, by sort of all sorts of different um, uh, channels. Uh, the main thing is make sure that you know, you're, you're quality graded um, and I'm sure most of you in this room are, are part of, of that sort of offering that we have uh, as, as a, an organisation. Register on our database, our products database, so you can be found on our website. Take advantage of the resources that we have. We have a fantastic online photo resource that partners in the tourism industry can use free of charge. It has thousands of images of Wales on it, um, and that's available on walesonview.com. Um, if you want to take part in travel trade activities, let us know. Go to our travelTrade.visitWales.com website and register an interest there. And if you're interested in finding out more about government grants for businesses or government support for businesses, um, phone Business Wales on the number there. And there is also a new apprenticeship scheme for businesses. So if that's of interest, you know, do phone that number at the bottom um, uh, to find out more. And one of the main things, really, I think the industry doesn't take full advantage of is make sure that, we, that, we're on, that you're on our radar, that we know about what's going on in your area. So email any news or information that you've got to productnews at wales.gsi.gov.uk. Um, but we do need a little bit of advance notice so we can prepare and make sure that the message is fed into our appropriate pre -R platforms in the right way. Um, we also, you know, if you like our adverts, support us. Um, retweet it using our hashtags um, and share our, our promotion on your website. Why not embed it on your home page? And on the digital platforms now, we're increasingly seeing more and more interest in what we're doing in this space. Make sure that you like us on, on Facebook, follow us um, on Twitter and share your content with us through our Share, share Wales group on Flickr um, and by sending any ideas that you have to visitwales.editorial at gmail.com. Um, we're always looking for new ideas in this space. We have to be ahead of the curve, so please let us know what you're up to. Um, I mean, I often, I won't say much in Welsh to end up, so no need to put your things in. Just to say, thank you very much for your time. Um, I'll be here all morning, so please come and speak to me after the presentations.